Hey, we're back. It's Club Kirby for the 21st of September. Do you remember the 21st day of September? I assume you do because you're living through it. You're right here. We are going to be working today on the 22nd page this ongoing uh, series of Kirby comic strips. If this is your first time watching then welcome and if you're a returning viewer then uh, welcome to you as well. We are continuing to crawl our way through this series. Well, I wanted to create 50 of these pages before we actually started uploading them. And we're not even halfway there yet. So I did a bit of work on this page over the weekend anyway. As you can see, not an awful lot of work, but I did do some work. Uh, I punched up the art in the first panel a bit. Just generally adding uh, thicker outlines to the character art on this page. And... Uh, Finished off this page as well, the, so this, on this panel, finished off this panel as well. Um, added the uh, Sadie's lower body. Again, just thickened up some lines. There's only one thing left to do on this panel, I believe. So we're going to go in and do it now. We're going to add Sadie's glasses and erase. Uh, the line that was there, the construction line. And of course, classes come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and styles. And I've spoken about this on Spoon before, but if you actually wear glasses, <laughs> you're going to be ahead of the game as far as developing them because you live with them on your face every day, as I do. And so you will be acutely aware of all of the little quirks um, that are involved in, you know, the the shape and the size, the form fact, the form factor of uh, glasses, the way that the legs uh, and the nose section attached to the lenses in the frame, attached to the frame really, and the lenses uh, are integrated into that as well.
And if you don't wear glasses, got uh, <laughs> sorry, I haven't got my teeth in today. <laughs> if you don't wear glasses, uh, you can still, you know, you have other options. You can look online for reference, uh, or you know, uh, if you're going to be drawing glasses a lot, maybe you would want to. Uh, maybe you could just buy. Like one of those uh, cheap pairs of Vida glasses or sunglasses that you see, you know, in the stores sometimes. And you can just have them handy uh, as, uh, as a reference. And of course glasses are like anything else, the more that you draw them. I was going to say, the more you draw them, the, the, more, the easier it becomes, but sometimes just never, you never, never really get that much easier. Hands are an example of that. I need to go in and uh, finish up these lines on the hand here. The uh, hand got uh, this hand got resized and moved about a bit. So some of the some of the lines here were a bit crude. This one as well. I think, yeah, if you look at where the placement of speech bubble is going to go, they probably won't even end up in shot, but just in case. Uh, but with that, I think that this particular well, the character for this panel is done, so we're going to move on. We'll just start to lay down the foundations for this third panel. So as you can see, as always, the rough storyboard sketch is there, and we're just gonna draw over it as soon as I can find my uh, reference material again. And you know what I'm going to do actually, this is, this is kind of cheating, but in the interests of consistency and getting everything right, let's speed up the process. What we'll do is we won't, we're not going to actually just paste this out in by the way and just use this. But we could uh, use it as a base. And then that way what we'll end up with is, is a piece that is consistent with uh, how Kevin looks in the other part. So what we'll do is we'll just fade this out. Turn that one down even further. Uh, 
I'm putting the character out, the main character out up to the top there, so I'm just going to keep drawing on that. But it's a little bit cheating. What we're not, we're not going to do slavishly. Um, have every line be exactly the same. We'll just build upon it. I don't want it to be an obvious copy and paste job. <laughs> You and I watching the stream will know that we used it as a as a base, but I'm not gonna get too lazy about it. The thing is, we spent so much time agonizing about making sure Kevin's details were consistent from panel to panel. On piles one and two. So we're going to continue on in that fashion by using some of these elements on this page. There's no need to reinvent the wheel, you know. It kind of feels like a failure of uh, staging on my part though to have the first panel have Kevin be side on like this. And then the second panel is different, but then the third panel she's side on again. Sometimes that's just necessary I suppose I'm not gonna twist the eye because that the, exp the facial expression is quite different in this panel, so there's no need. Just uh, focus on hitting the main beats of, it, of the face. Make sure. All of the portions are correct and everything is in, in good order.
Yeah, that's a bit messy, but we'll, we'll clean it up. We're going to have to go over everything and just... refine every element once we're done, but... The main thing just now is... Just our building, sort of a framework that we can use. The arms are going to be positioned a little bit differently as well because that is how the initial stripper sketch was done. So I've pulled the arms back a bit. So. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now is switch that off and start to build more upon the initial storyboard sketch in terms of trying to bring over the, uh, the expression that I had in mind for this panel when uh, when I was scripting it. Okay, so now we have a usable sort of foundation for coming for this panel. We just need to start going over the line art and refining it. And you can see it's going to be different enough in the top panel in terms of 
size and detailing that it's not going to be like a straight copy paste job but even though we used the panel winner as a foundation just to make sure that we had all the placement correct and it saved us a heck of a lot of time or it's going to have saved us a heck of a lot of time I think it's forgivable when one we're so far behind schedule months behind schedule and also it's you know a page of just two characters talking in a room not something that I would want to do necessarily if uh, it was a page where it was Kirby in like an action scene to have uh, to be so reliant upon the same uh, art across two panels but in a situation like this where you just have two characters talking obviously they're going to be fairly static anyway we can use that to our advantage We're just going to go over every single line, clean everything up. Join everything up. Get rid of some of this overlapping that happens sometimes.
So a little gap there in the, on the canvas. In the middle of the screen, I'm not sure what that's about. It's on one of the layers below, but... We're not going to worry about that. At least not just now. Very angular wrist bone. I've got to run that out a bit, I think.
Okay, we're definitely going to have to do some work to clean this section up.
Okay, I think we are about done as far as Karen is, is uh, concerned. Now, Sadie is going to be another matter entirely because she's uh, in a, an entirely different position than she was in the first panel or the second. She's much more in a sort of a side on view, so. We've only got about 10 minutes left on stream today. Uh, I think we can start to lay down the foundation stuff. I think we need to just move that eye entirely. We're trying to look at Sadie at the same angle as Karen. We're really both like facing each other side on, so if we can only see the one eye based on where Karen is, it makes sense that it would be the same with Sadie. so that the eye should be closer to the edge.
Back in this job, I think. Okay, we're just being very crude here, it's very basic in terms of just laying down where we want the elements of uh, the head to be. And we can go ahead and refine them later, we don't need to worry about everything being perfect at this stage. We only have a couple of minutes left on stream today anyway. So we're only going to be able to cover so much ground. Skull needs to come out from behind. I can't do a perfect circle. <laughs> gonna Especially on the tablet. Do it in pieces. There you go, that's a bit closer. We're going to just erase it anyway. So. I don't know if we've ever spoken about it on stream, but I only really use my Intuos when I'm on the desktop computer, uh, and usually only when I'm on stream to uh, demonstrate to you how things are done. When I'm not on stream, uh, I prefer to use my Surface Pro. And there isn't really that much in it, but I definitely feel like if I had to do something like that, like a circle on the Intuos, it's going to take a few more attempts, whereas uh, just doing directly on the screen, on my surface, it probably be, a, I would find it a lot easier. And I continue to say, I've had my Surface Pro now since 2016, and despite some lingering issues with it over the years, um, I'm going to run that machine into the ground, basically. So we're coming up on almost half a decade of using it, and you know. Who knows how long it's going to be before it gets replaced. I've tried to replace it, but it has been uh, just a workhorse for me during the time that I've been working on Kirby. And I certainly can't justify the expense of replacing it just now anyway. But the only thing about it is that the charger the official Microsoft charger and the uh, third party replacements, all the, the cables on them are like tissue paper and I've literally gone through, I just on Friday just uh, got my, uh, oh Saturday sorry, Saturday I just received my, what must be like my eighth charger at least that I've gone through and I've tried the third party ones, I've tried the official Microsoft ones, they're all the same they all uh, come apart at the cable and uh, it's really frustrating. So I've probably spent half the price of a new laptop again just on Surface Pro chargers over the years. But other than that, uh, working on a touch screen to me is much uh, is preferable to working on uh, uh, an old-fashioned tablet, like an Intuos. Um, and I don't feel like I have to do these, uh, you know, the repeated strokes to get exactly what I want all the time. To the same degree that I do on uh, 
on uh, an old fashioned tablet and of the non touch screen variety. Uh, I don't know how much more we can do on stream today because we're running out of time. Start to lay down some basic shapes for where the body is going to go, and then I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be like for the next day or so. Hopefully, I can get a little bit more done on this page today at least. I don't know, it's a very strange, the head is going to be straight on but the body is sort of at an angle, so we'll figure it out. Okay, we're going to have to wrap it up there anyway because that is almost 4 o'clock, so uh, we kind of covered a bit more ground than usual today just by using some different techniques and uh, Leveraging the art that we had already drawn to build a whole additional uh, piece of character art, basically using the old the current from the first panel to create a foundation for how she appears in the third panel, which is probably an effective use of our time, actually, and not something to be sniffed at because what's going to happen is a lot of this is going to get covered up by speech bubbles anyway, so I don't like the idea of just going control C, control V across every panel and just every panel being exactly the same but if we can find ways to use the assets that we've created the art to our advantage then I think that's definitely going to be a good thing we don't want to make life hard for ourselves and Choose the more difficult way of doing things and create everything from scratch every single time just because oh, it's noble and it's hard work. So, you know, nuts to that. Let's uh, find more efficient ways of doing things because there's a lot of work to be done. So, some ideas to think about anyway. Um, but that's going to do it for today's stream. Do remember that you can always contribute by liking, following, subscribing, depending on what platform you're on. Uh, and you can donate at ko-fi.com forward slash Kirby or streamlabs.com forward slash Quinn Morgan Kirby. I want to thank you for watching today. And I wish you the best of success with your own projects. Your your own comics, your own art, whatever it is that you're, that you're doing. I'm sure you have some... Uh, ideas of you and some things that you want to work on and I hope that these streams give you uh, some ideas to add to your sort of toolbox uh, for when it comes time to make your own comics and your own art and create your own stories uh, in the meantime I want to thank you for watching I hope you will join me on tomorrow's Club Kirby and for the rest of this week and uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon